Right, so this one is a bit different. It doesn't have only fans in the title, instead it's fan view. We're gonna be doing a guide on how to chat on fan view. Fan view is significant because obviously that is how we run our AI models. You can't really stick AI models on OnlyFans. It doesn't work as well. FanView is the platform we now use for that. So a lot of people, different platform, they get confused. How do I chat on this one? Is it different? I'm gonna clear that up today and actually do a bit of a guide on how to chat on that. So FanView is a platform that is very similar to OnlyFans like Cole has just mentioned. However, it is being revolutionized by AI modeling. Now, this doesn't exactly have to mean 100% pure AI models. It can also mean hybrid models or models that don't want to show their face on OnlyFans. So therefore, go onto FanView and use AI to manipulate the images to then allow them to sell content without being exposed. Now, the reason that this is so significant is because AI is obviously a perfect model. You can make models content 10 times quicker and 10 times better quality than you can being a normal model. So that is why AI is so significant and overall gives the customer a better experience on the platform because they get content specifically tailored and absolutely perfect to them. So this is why FanView in 2024 is massively evolving and revolutionizing the sex industry space. So because we're dealing with AI here, there is some issues with some images you may be able to notice Ah, oh, this girl's AI. What that means is that we have to enhance the customer's experience in another way. We're not getting the photo realism that they would on an OnlyFans of a real girl. So we have to enhance their experience through chatting and communicating with that customer. Because at the end of the day, that is why they are on that FanView page. So how are you going to improve that chatting experience? First of all, you need to act more human. Now, what do I mean by this? Because there's always going to be a human chatting on these softwares. But on OnlyFans, get some chatters that stick to scripts and they don't kind of come off these scripts at all. So it kind of seems very robotic, very salesman-like, and doesn't really create a good experience for the customer, therefore they don't buy the images, the content, etc. However, on FanView, because like Cole said, the images of some of these models could be slightly compromising and could give away the fact that it's AI, then people are gonna be looking for that realism or that reassurance in the chatting to make sure that it's worth them spending their money on this model even though it may not be a real model. So less salesman-like and more human is the way to go when you're chatting on FanView. So another significant feature that FanView has implemented into their platform is the fact that they have an AI chatbot. Now, what this means is instead of having a Filipino chatter on your OnlyFans chatting all day long and they're shit at English, they can't really speak English, this AI will enable users to basically just click a button and it will give a response to whatever that customer has said. You can also tailor it so you can give the bot certain mannerisms so say you want to call your fans babe or fucking degenerate little fucking freak you can make it set certain emojis so say your model uses kissy emojis instead of fucking knob ones that's fine you can set that as well basically you can enhance your experience of using this platform through a shitty little button that you press and you can jump Filipinos or VAs or whoever you want onto these platforms. And basically, they don't have to be the best at English because this bot will respond effectively to these messages. So technically, it makes chatting easier and more efficient. However, as you well know, if you are in the OFM space, there are some customers that claim to be doctors or lawyers or people of high intelligence that status. Therefore, a chat bot may not trick them because like I said earlier, you wanna be more humane when you're chatting to your fans. So yes, the chatters can use the chatbot. However, they have to be careful depending on who they're chatting to. If the customer is quite intelligent, then maybe a chatbot is not the way to go and isn't the best way to optimize the amount of money that you're gonna get from that singular customer. But from an overall standpoint, the chatbot is very efficient and it's gonna help you speed up chatting and save some money on chatters. Another downside of the chatbot is it does not pitch customers. So obviously the whole point of you chatting is to get money through customers and sell them pictures. The chatbot does not do any sort of sales pitch or anything like this. So you do, at the end of the day, need a salesman on the other end of the line to be able to sell them images. But it's great for keeping a connection and relationship with that customer. So to summarize this whole video, one, be more humane when you're chatting on fan. Two, make sure your salesman skills are at a high level and that you're not pitching the customer too often. because this is gonna cause doubt if the model is real or not. Three, use the AI chatbot 
to help evolve conversations with the customers. However, you're still gonna need a salesman at the end of the line. And finally, make sure your staff are educated on the FanView platform if they are coming across from OnlyFans, because like I said, it's quite a new platform in comparison to OnlyFans. Therefore, they may need a bit of extra education on how to navigate this platform. So if the whole AI influencer, you wanna make money online with AI, and modeling, put those two together and make AI modeling, simple as that. If you need additional help with running these AI models, we have hundreds of videos on this channel teaching you exactly how to do that, as well as a course, which we will link in the description. It's very cheap. Remember to invest in yourself and in your business. Don't do shit half-heartedly. Go into it, invest a bit of money into it. AI costs a bit of money, courses cost a bit of money, staff cost a bit of money, so if you want to be able to run a business, don't be a cheap cunt and try to run it all yourself. You need to invest in yourself.